welcome back, welcome back. It is me, and it's, uh, why I'm supposed to say Fantastic Friday, but it's not. It's Tell It All Friday. It's with me. Um, so this Friday will be a very, uh, not difficult, but, uh, you know, who knows me knows that I'm, I, I am a doggy mommy. I literally had two dogs in my lifetime. My first dog was Sky Heaven. And um, Sky Heaven Forbes had, uh, literally, she literally had a godparents. Two of my friends was with my dog godparents. Um, like, right, I got her in 2005. And literally, she was a poodle, a toy poodle. She was black. And I wanted a dog so much after spending time with my cousin who had a teacup brown uh, poodle called Scarlet. So, you know, I was like, oh my gosh. And they had Jersey. And Jersey was a pit bull. And he was like the sweetest pit bull you could ever even encounter. So, all my family have like big dogs. They got pit bulls. My cousin have like a, um, a great day now. But... You know, I like the little cutesy whoopsy ones. You know, the little small to, mi to, to miniature or medium size. So literally, I had Sky for 12 years. And unfortunately, um, I had to put her down. And so 2017 was very hard for me. Um, like, Sky been through so much with me. I went to school. I really grew up or grew up with, with, with Sky. Sky went to Georgia. She come back to New York. She, um, Sky boy. Sky literally, I grew up with that dog. And I, to this day, I still miss, I miss my dog. I really do. I really do. She, she was such a sweetheart. And like, <laughs> when I lived in Georgia, I was just telling my cousin earlier on, I was like, yo, like, you know, my grandmother, who used to have the dog in the household, my grandmother used to go and walk the dog in the neighborhood. And one, one day, I guess my grandmother went under the trees and was walking um, sky. And she literally got a tick that was stuck in her neck and I had to go to the ER with her and take care. We all, we spent the whole night, whole morning in the ER because some man ended up coming, having a heart attack and my grandmother was not not the emergency so all these hours they working on this man all type of thing and we sitting on there like what going on boy and <laughs> and, and, the, and I swear the doctor just came in less than two minutes the tick was out i said but why didn't i do that at home when i was over here trying to pull it pull it pull it the tick wasn't moving but how did the tick move for the man i don't know but whatever whatever so i have put my doggy down and it was very, uh, very a hard. The hardest thing, or one of the hardest things I had to do was put Sky down. And you know, cause Sky was again like you know blind, and she wasn't really seeing seeing uh, much. But she knew the layout of the apartments, so you know she would like you know not really walk into walls and stuff like that. But when she started doing that again, I'm like, oh my god, it's getting worse. And my mom was just like, you know, this is not the caliber of life that we want for Sky. And I was like, yeah, but I love my. I'm like, and then one day, seven people had to prep talk me into doing this. And my cousin was like, listen, it's okay. You can pull her down. Da, da, da. And I went and I went to the ASPCA in Brooklyn. And I met them. And I took Sky to go get, to go meet her Lord and Maker in, in Doggy Heaven. And the, the people was just like, but you love her so much. And I was like, yeah, I do, but you can't see. You got to take my dog. And he was just like, you sure you want to do it? And I did it. And I held her when they gave her the shot. And then when they gave her the other shot, and you just see her tongue turning purple. And I just held my dog, and I cried. And they asked me, do you want, you know, do you want to cremate her? Do you want the remains? I was like, no, I don't want the remains. No, like I couldn't come home and like and just see my joy. So yeah, and yes, I'm very dramatic. Okay, but it is what it is. So, you know, fast forward like maybe like a year. Is it like a year? I think I had Riley maybe maybe two years, going on two years. So some time later, I'm, I'm at my job. I'm doing a special team at my job where I go to the train stations and I end up. Me and this man. 
who was like, yo, 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 yo. I used to work for TSA. I was like, yeah, whatever. And like, real give me a real vibe, vibe and attitude. And then like, so we, we leave. I come again. I see the man say, man. Lord Jesus. Yes, he was annoying. But you know what? And ironically, this is one of my good friends now. Like he really look out for me, and really, you know, really the listening ear and really try to steer me in the right direction. So Riley Daddy, that's that's what. That's that's his title. I have a doggy ship. I share a dog. He would know, you know. He was like, yo, I, I, got, I, I know you, and I know you had a dog before her now, and I got to share, I'm, I, I got to give my dog away. And I'm like, word? I so I asked her all these questions, but I'm like, how am I going to get my mother on board to get this dog? Because my mother said, I don't want no damn dog. The last dog in this house is going to be Riley, not Riley Sky. And all this talk, friends, I show her the picture, she was like, oh, he cute. I'm like, oh, man, he cute, he cute, okay. But she still was giving me side eyes. So one day, and then 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 then, then he was like he was he was he was he was messing around too because he wasn't really on the level of like yes, come and get the dog. So I'm like okay. A couple of months go by. He was like yo, you so interested? You would you would take the dog? And I'm like yeah, I'm so interested. But I you know I didn't get I didn't really get permission from my mother. Did I come here? Right, I, yes, I, I don't remember, I see that, I don't remember getting permission from the from my mom, but I remember, like, you know, she, if she gonna put us out, she gonna put us out? No, she would never. So, would you have put us out? No. See? So I just went and I got the dog. I went. <laughs> I went to the Bronx and I pick up Riley from Riley Daddy. And he was like, what happened? Like, you know, interact with him. I was like, wait, wait, he's so, so, so tiny. And Riley was so like, like, where am I going? Who, like, what's going on? Who is this girl? And I swear to you, Riley is every opposite of Sky. Like, Sky was an inside dog that used the wee-wee pad. Riley goes outside and does his business. Like, he's well-trained for that. So that's that's a back story, but I do share my doggy with Riley's daddy. Even though he gave up all his rights, but I you know when he asked for a picture, I sent a picture. When he asked for a video, I sent his video. Like when he I'm like, what's going what's new with Riley? I let him know what's new what's new with his child. Like he is still an active father in Riley's uh, lifestyle. But me and Riley had a very uh difficult week. Because on Friday, I started noticing that, you know, something, like, Riley not acting himself. Like, Riley love water. He loved to go outside. He like, and he loved to break at men. I don't know what it is about men. He just like, oh, and I'm like, what happened, Riley? Riley would go by the door. He looking at me. I'm looking at him. I'm like, what happened? What going on? Not knowing that my dog was not feeling good and was in pain, y'all. But he's a dash hound, so they're very small. Like a little small and long a wiener. <laughs> no pun intended. Yes, um, I got jokes so like, today. You know, they, they're very prone for the back problems. And so, unbeknownst to me, like, you know, with all this walking, jumping. He really, he really doesn't jump that much or like, um, cut, like jumping on the couch. Like, Riley never did that. He, he used to jump on my bed. My ex wife was like, oh no, we getting you a new bed. He got me a new bed and I took it, but that's whatever. But he don't jump on no bed no more. But his back, was back and stomach, I had to rush Riley to the emergency pet hospital 20 minutes from my house Saturday night around 8 p.m. Because I said, something is wrong with my dog. I don't know what's wrong with him. All I know that he not acting normal. We get in there. First of all, it's COVID time, so we can't do nothing. We in the car. They come. They get the dog. The dog was like, I don't want to go with her. So I have to get out the car now to scooch him up where he tried to bite me and nip my face, right? He, he's been a very bad boy to his mom. They go. They take him. The lady was like, oh, you know, we did the exam. Well, let me get around to his back and his stomach area. He's over here just, you know, crying out in pain. 
she was like, you know, what, what we could do, we could take an x-ray and look at the x-ray and see what's going on. If he ate something, if he didn't eat something, I was like, man, he only been eating, but he had not been drinking. So I just like that, that that alone is something different from Riley, right? We come in there, you you know how they they always tell you they're gonna talk to you about your bill and things. All right, they, they come, they come to all the bill. The lady was like, yes, yeah, so for, for, for this visit, initial emergency visit, $120. Yes, all y'all get the Caribbean in here today. The pain injection, $48. I said, oh, God. The x-ray, $250 for the x-ray. And $85 for the person to read the x-ray. To tell them what's going on with Rai Rai. And then if he need pills to take to, to go home with, is an extra $30, 20 to 30 dollars. So all you please, please guess how much my bill was. $526 and 76 cents. I said, oh God, oh God, right, right. What are you doing to your mother? Yeah, my Riley has never been to the vet like that. Well, not well before he did have diarrhea issue, but that's okay because he, his ass was his nose and Brooklyn, and he just eaten up all the damn fucking trash. Riley Bill in Brooklyn, come and come if you want to come. A thousand dollars for two weeks. The first week we took him, and the second week, and mind you, I was feeding I was feeding him rice and the bland um, chicken. It just just wasn't soaking it up fast enough. So they gave what they, what they gave him like steroids or something. They gave him something to stop the the shit. But the, thank God. But we on Georgia. We on Florida now. Right. So Riley come home. Well, let me tell you something. Riley was still kind of weary, weary on Sunday. We giving him the pills. He I. He's still not too good. Come Monday morning, I'm getting ready to go home to go to work. All I hear, Riley start to cry and howl. I said, oh no, I cannot leave my dog like this because people were thinking I'm killing him. So I called out of work and took Riley to Bain Field. I had to leave my dog. Oh yeah. Where the people in them? Then... I go by my cousin house, oh, shout out to my cousin. I was really actually like a princess with some bellinis. We had breakfast. I did my little quick her cricket. All type of different things. Well, that's, that's for a different time, a different video. But they called me back like four hours later to tell me Riley's having back issues. He needs to be picked up and walked with for four to six weeks. They put him on muscle relaxers and painkillers and steroids. And I was like, my dog at five years old is an old man. He really old. And guess and guess, guess what the bill was? $78. So all in all, I spent like six, six, six fifteen on my poor dog. I went and picked him up for the vet. <laughs> the man was like, he wouldn't let me pick him up. So he, and outside pouring down now because you know how Florida rainy, 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 rainy. It pouring. I'm like, yo. So I go and I pick him up and I put him in the car, right? Riley ain't do nothing. I said, I said, I call, I call my mom. I'm like, listen, I'm on my way home. We, we, we gonna put Riley. I'm gonna go get you know some 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 weed pads because they said I had the food to make him eat more and and pee more. I'm like, all right, we got this. I try to come back, Riley, right? I get home now. I park my car. Oh, you! Yeah, I have to talk to all you like, like if, like if all you my family. We were like, we we girlfriends, we best friend. Hey, best friend. I say, Riley, come now, come, come, come to mommy. Riley, come. He scored a little bit. As I go to go and <laughs> pick up Riley, so come on, why that motherfucker bit me? How? <laughs> Bite. Not once, but twice. I said, word. We biting the hands that feed us. Is this what we're doing today, bro? You biting the hand that feed you. Now, I had to call my mother outside, so she had to come and help me coerce this dog 
out the back seat of my car when he looked at to jump out. Now, y'all, I went from I went from a um to, from a car to an SUV. Where he going? Where you jumping? So clearly he was like, I ain't fucking with you. So you know what he did. He went with his grandmother to come and love him up for her to take him out the car. But after you done bite me, and he ain't need no mark oil. He ain't need no mark, but it was it hurt though. I ain't gonna lie, it hurt. This is my second time being bit by a dog. The, my first time was a was a very a very uh, weird Halloween in Atlanta. A pit bull bit me. I ain't never had my own dog bite me. I said, okay, Riley. All right. Now he's mad chill, y'all. He's medically, he's highly medicated right now. I'm happy about that. But I just hope that, you know, in, in the four to six weeks that he really heals up. My mom was like, oh, I should make him a wheelbarrow, wheelchair. And I'm like, don't disrespect a doggy like that. Don't do that. Don't. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Push hard on it. Hard on it. Why you doing that? You're getting no too slapper here. But that's my Riley. Ride, ride. That's my Riley Thunder. Yes, all my dogs have some type of the elements with them. I like weather. Clearly, sky heaven. Riley Thunder. Grr. I know I'm smart, but okay. But yeah, so. My poor baby has been running me for a whole loop this week. I will keep y'all abreast on the doggy to see how it goes. Cause you know my dog gave me company while I was here, and I and and I didn't have my mom here. Me and Riley used to be in here by myself. He he watching me, I watching him. Like it was a struggle, oh yeah, it was a struggle. But and then even with the whole moving to Florida, Riley was in the car. Everything with Riley, everything happened with Riley there. Me and Riley, right now, he's really watching me as as I'm saying his name. With very intent, look, 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 you see, come here. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is my title Friday. It was all about my Ryan Ryan. I want y'all to enjoy and have a wonderful week and see you next Friday.